Hey, Christy Renee here from Mind Rewire and Christy Renee Healing Ministries. I owe y'all apology. I yo owe, <laughs> I gotta learn how to talk first. I owe all of y'all an apology. Um, and I probably really don't. You know, you only know what you know when you know it. And then as you progress and you grow, you know a little bit more. And there's an old saying or a verse or something somewhere that says something to the effect of you don't know what you know until you know it and your knowing becomes wisdom and this isn't it exactly but it's something like this and in your wisdom you'll become disturbed and in your disturbance carry that whatever direction you want I'm not sure how it goes after that I'm in the disturbance is where I'm at I've been there for a while because you think you know something, and then you gain wisdom on the something you think you know, and then that kind of moves forward. And then you learn a little bit more, you understand a little bit more. Your understanding, I understand something, I overstand something, if you know, if you know what I'm talking about. And your overstanding turns into knowledge. Then I know something. And you know when you know something. Right? You can't deter a person who knows something. But then your knowledge, your knowing, turns into wisdom. And <laughs> you get disturbed. Ah, I'm disturbed. So, one of the things that disturbs me is that in understanding heart coherence, it's the act or the work of becoming 100% you literally is what, what we're working on. Getting into your heart space, settling into that vibration, settling into that feeling, and then learning how to walk in it in your daily life, yeah? And in that walking, you find out that you kind of flip back and forth. So sometimes I'm in my heart space and then all of a sudden I get pulled out and I wander away and I go on tangents and rants and whatever and, and then I get, I get knowledge and I realize I'm out of my heart space and I get, get myself back to it. Here's what I understand after, and I'll tell you what happened the other day. Here's what I understand, and I knew this before, I've said it before, but I, I had knowledge but I did not have wisdom. This is gonna be the difference. So what I, what I understood, what I overstood, was that you can be 100% yourself in your heart, know your spirit self, walk in that state. It's higher vibrational for sure, or it's every vibration, right? It's a combination of everything in its perfected states. Nothing is overemphasized. Everything is, is set to to perfection. Or you can walk as your human suit. I can walk around as my Christy avatar and be the crazy Christy that I can be, which for years I was. I can go back and forth in between the two. I get tired of that. I'm so tired of that. So you can be 100% you or not. If you were 100% the trueness of yourself, of the real, the internal, eternal, right? There's matter and there's the thing that animates matter. If you were truly the thing that animates matter and you had true wisdom about that, you would be whole. There would be no illness. Poison could not affect you. <laughs> Humanity's nonsense would not affect you. You would be in a constant higher vibe, which to me means that the vibrational frequencies of everything are in play and it's that beautiful overtone, that symphony. I don't know if you've ever heard it, but I've heard it. Being less than that perfection, being less than the word perfection throws people sideways, being less than that wholeness, being less than that state of your spirit, of yourself, causes illness. It is illness, it is issue, 
It is inconsistency, it's incoherence, it's procrastination, it's anger, call it whatever you want. It's out of proportion frequencies inside your system. When you are 100% your true self, the true you, the spirit inside you, you, all that ceases. And I know some of you have been there off and on. I know some of you think you've been there before for periods of time and then something would happen and you forget, you know, even in this life, it's like, like you get knocked back out and your, your memory gets stolen from some of these things. And then you have to kind of slowly build your way back to it. But if you understood, if you truly understood that that vibration, and it's not a single vibration, it is an overtone. It is a compilation of all the vibrations, all the hues, all the tones, all of the qualities involved in all of the sacred geometry that is applied to every hue and every tone. It's all of it, nothing out of balance. That's the overtone of creation that vibration by itself, listen to me, that vibration by itself wipes out all the other lower vibes. And it doesn't wipe them out like they're, or they're gone. Everything just symbiotically comes into balance. 